Hello and welcome to another edition of Thursday Table. I'm Dr. Rachel Stricker and you are here at Illuminate with Dr. Rachel. So today we are going to be cooking a turmeric walnut quinoa porridge. And I love this recipe so much. It's high in protein, it's high in healthy fats, high in fiber, full of antioxidants. And one of the best parts of all is that it's super easy to make. So we've been doing a lot of breakfast foods and this food can absolutely be made for breakfast too. But one of the really great things about this particular porridge is that you can make it into anything you like. So you can add all kinds of different ingredients to give different flavors. So you might want to think about adding in different spices. You might want to think about substituting the vegetable broth in this recipe for, uh, for a nut milk or a seed milk and make it a little bit more uh, sweet instead of just savory. You can also add things like avocado or salsa or pesto or harissa on top. So you can literally do anything with this to add in your particular flavor and spice levels. So what we've got going on right here is four cups of vegetable broth, uh, about uh, a teaspoon of ground turmeric, and um, a little pinch of salt and pepper. So I've got this coming to a boil, and what I'm gonna do is add a cup of these quinoa flakes. So we're really familiar with quinoa, the superfood. I'll talk about quinoa in just a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and add this in because like I said, this is a quick, this is a, a quick meal. Um, so these quinoa flakes can be a little difficult to find. I did have to order my uh, quinoa flakes online and have them delivered. Um, I used a company called Suncor Foods. Um, I really like their organic uh, quinoa flakes, um, but they are a little difficult to find in stores. So you may have to end up uh, ordering them online and ordering them in bulk. But the great thing about this bag is that you can use it for this recipe, of course, but you can also use it in all different kinds of gluten-free, superfood, um, baking, and um, and use it even you know as like an oatmeal substitute. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this right in to our boiling vegetable broth with the turmeric and the black pepper. And so I'm gonna pay attention to this one and it's really only gonna cook for about 90 seconds, a minute and a half is all the longer this is gonna cook for. But I'm gonna keep the stir on it pretty constant and make sure that it comes back up to a boil too. So um, sometimes it's a little bit longer than uh, 90 seconds if it, if it takes a minute for it to come back to a boil, but mine's already going. So quinoa, superfood full of B vitamins, vitamin E, zinc, fiber, iron, high in protein. It's a great uh, source of protein for, for people who are on a vegan or plant-based diet. Um, also, uh, lots of uh, magnesium, really good for the GI tract, very anti-inflammatory, works great with gluten-free uh, diets, works great with different types of anti-inflammatory diets, and tends to be really uh, well tolerated for people as well. So, uh, love quinoa. Turmeric, you know, I can't say more about turmeric. Turmeric literally is just the spice of life that does everything. So it is anti-inflammatory, full of antioxidants, has a tremendous uh, body of research supporting um, its anti-neoplastic, so that's for cancer care, huge for that. Um, I love to use it for mental emotional health, for um, cognitive health. So if you think about some of the neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's, things like depression and anxiety, also really great for that. Um, because it's so anti-inflammatory, I use it lots um, in patients who are having joint pains and muscle pain, chronic pain in general. Um, it's just so wonderful and so supportive. Um, and this is my, my favorite way to recommend for people to consume it too, is with a, by a food source. So to work it right into your meals. So taking capsules and things, sometimes it's not very absorbable and it's much more absorbable when you actually have it as, as a food base. So we've got a nice little boil going on here. I think we've had it for a good minute and a half and I'm gonna just let this sit for a second, which is gonna allow it to thicken. Black pepper, which we already added in there, also helps with absorption, as does a healthy fat. So if you have some black pepper in a healthy fat in with your meal that you're um, having the turmeric in, that's perfect. 
So these are the white quinoa flakes, but that uh, turmeric in there, it has this just beautiful, beautiful golden color, which I'll show you in just a minute as we start to add our other ingredients. So we have this boil happening with our quinoa just for 90 seconds. And then literally all you're gonna do is just add in these extra ingredients. So uh, here I have a tablespoon and a half of some nutritional yeast. Love nutritional yeast, actually a great source of B vitamins. This is a great, uh, this is a great source of B vitamins, especially for vegans. And um, this added into vegan food gives your food a, a rich, milky, almost like cheese-like uh, factor. Um, we really love nutritional yeast on top of popcorn. It's absolutely my son's favorite thing in the world. So we're gonna go ahead and stir that nutritional yeast in there, which is just gonna lead to the savoriness of this dish. Love it so much. Then we have, we've got a little bit more in there. Um, then we have a, um, a quarter of a cup of chopped walnuts. Love walnuts, full of omega-3s, omega-6, healthy fats. Um, and walnuts falls into the category of something that we call the doctrine of signatures. So the doctrine of signatures is that um, we basically get these clues, these wisdom clues from nature on, on what specific herbs and foods are good for the human body. So if you've ever seen that whole walnut, it looks exactly like a brain. And guess what? They are incredibly, incredibly nourishing to the brain because they're full of antioxidants. And they also have all those healthy fats, which really helps with, with brain health, with cognitive health. Um, and it also is something that's really helpful for men's health and can be helpful for um, especially men who are having issues with um, infertility, uh, sperm counts and, and testosterone levels. And so helps tremendously with that. Also great for the skin health, great for the cardiovascular, very anti-inflammatory and full of antioxidants. We're gonna throw those walnuts right in there. You know, and again, like I mentioned, with this porridge, you could certainly use other types of nuts or in addition to or instead of the walnuts. Now we've got some hemp seeds. I think I talked about hemp seeds, was that last week? We talked about hemp seeds, another great source of healthy fats, full of omega-3s, full of omega-6s, um, ma magnesium, fiber, zinc, iron, also high in protein. We're going to, I've got three tablespoons here, and I'm gonna put about two of the tablespoons in there, and then I'm gonna use the rest just to sprinkle on top. So we'll go ahead and stir those in there. Oh, it's looking so good. Okay, here I've got um, a tablespoon and a half of some organic tamari. So this is soy sauce, but this is a gluten-free soy sauce. Really love this style. This is gonna give a little more savoriness, a little more saltiness to our dish. And then it also is the soy, which we know soy um, is really great for us. It gets kind of a bad rap. You definitely wanna make sure you're using the organic non-GMO soy and not overdoing it in soy, especially um, for, for men um, because it is, a, it is a phytoestrogen. It does increase estrogen in the body. Um, but overall, it is found to be extremely protective against a lot of different kinds of cancer, especially things like prostate cancer and a lot of the uh, female reproductive cancers and breast cancer. So it gets a bad rap, but actually it is quite, quite good for you. And we're gonna put it in here. And this is just a small amount too. Again, just leading to that savoriness of the dish. We'll give it a stir. All right, next we have a tablespoon. I'm looking at this tablespoon. This is like a hearty tablespoon. So there's a there's a joke between naturopaths that you know whenever a recipe calls for one clove of garlic, you gotta at least use four. And I think I do about the same thing when it comes to coconut oil. So this is one one hearty tablespoon of coconut oil, but it's great. Again. Our coconut oil is an excellent source of healthy fats, nourishing for the cardiovascular system, great for skin health, um, just so many wonderful benefits for um, consuming coconut oil, both internally and externally. Of course, lots of homemade not natural products have coconut oil in them too, and um, 
and for good reason because it's awfully nourishing. Okay, our last ingredient. This is a cup and a half of some chopped greens, some chopped raw greens. So I have a combination here of spinach, kale, and some chard. You could use just one of those or any kind of green that you like. You could also do arugula in here if you really like that peppery taste, especially if you were maybe gonna put like a salsa on top or something like that. Th that would be really great. I love this. This is a power green uh, mix that I just chopped up. Um, greens are incredible. It's so important to consume lots and lots of greens in your diet, full of fiber. This is a great source of vegan protein. Um, we've got iron coming in, lots of B vitamins, vitamin A, vitamin K, antioxidant full, um, and um, vitamin C as well. So, you know, anytime that you um, want to increase iron in your diet, especially if you are a vegan and you need to increase iron because you're not um, eating, consuming red meat, you want to have things like like greens um, but an important thing about um, iron is that it needs vitamin C in order to absorb so whenever you consume something that's also that's high in iron but then also has a lot of vitamin C in it it's great so greens are like that perfect source of uh, of iron okay I'm gonna bring this a little closer to give a stir we're gonna stir those greens in there Mm, this smells so good. I really love the nuttiness that quinoa has all on its own. Then of course, with our other ingredients in there, including the walnuts and the hemp seeds, it just has that really nutty smell to it. Okay, we're gonna swap this out. We're gonna grab some of our porridge here. All right. So here we have a nice golden color, the quinoa in there, our mixed up greens. It's gonna have great texture to it too because we've got the nuts and seeds and everything in there. I'm gonna sprinkle a few more of those hemp seeds on top. Let's see how it tastes. Mm, so good, so savory. This is truly just such a complete vegan meal with all the healthy fats, with the proteins, with the greens. I mean, I can't imagine a more perfect meal. So again, this makes a savory breakfast, a snack, a lunch, a dinner that you can do anything with. You can add all kinds of different spices, all kinds of different sauces and making it your own. I hope you enjoyed our Thursday table. We'll see you next time.